Welcome to the Purple Mash for Parents webinars. In this webinar, we're going to look at the games and resources that your children can use to keep up with their math skills. I'm going to show you some of these in the games area and we'll also look at the mathematics area here. First of all, I'm going to go into the games area. Some of these games, such as Bond Bubbles and Afishmatic, can be used with your youngest children for counting and adding numbers to 5 or 10 or 20. Some of the other games, such as Dividers and Factoroids, can be used with older children. You also have some brilliant tools such as Two Race, the Multiplication Tools and Monster Multiplication. You have other tools that teach the concept of fractions. This tool, Fractonio's Pizzeria, gives your children the chance to explore fractions and serve pizzas at the same time. I'm going to show you some of my favourites of these games. I'm going to go into Two Race first of all. Down the bottom here you can access these ready-made games and decide which of these operations or mathematical concepts you want your children to be practising. I'm going to have a go at Addition and Subtraction. So for younger children, they might be adding up to 5 or 10 or 20. For older children, they might be practicing addition to 100. So let's launch this one here. You select your racer and click I'm ready. So you have about two or three minutes to see if you can be the very first. And if you get them wrong, the other racers speed into the front there. So two race has some brilliant games. You've got multiplication and division. You also have, if you want to practice your times tables, you can use two simple table tunes. You can sing along with the singers for any of the times tables up to 12. You can also practice your times tables here using the recall, musical chairs and speed tests. Now, if your children are in year three, four, five or six, these two tools here will get your children practicing their times tables. Let's first have a look at this tool here called multiplication. If your children are in year four next year, they will be sitting an assessment task, which looks like this. This assessment times tables test is exactly like the test your children will be going through next year. They will be asked 25 questions and given six seconds to answer these each time. Let's start this test and have a look what it looks like. As you can see, they have six seconds to answer each question and three seconds to wait between each question. Your children can personalize their multiplication tables test by clicking on the custom version here. This enables them to select the times tables that they really want to practice and decide how many questions they want and how long they want to play it for. This customized version will now only give me questions for those times tables that I specified. The videos here next to the exit button are very useful. They will guide you through how to use the assessment mode and how to customize it for your own times tables. Let's have a look at monster multiplication. This is a fabulous game. See how many times tables they can get correct in one minute. And the more they get correct as a streak of correct answers, they will feed their animal lots of different healthy foods. So I have earned lots of fruit and vegetables for my monster. Any of the maths games in Purple Mash will have a little guide video here next to the exit button and you can watch how to use these games with your children. Let's have a look at a fishmatic. A fishmatic can be used with reception children for basic counting or year ones and twos with basic addition and subtraction or further up the year levels from year two up with multiplication. Let's have a look at the basic level here for counting. How many fish are on the screen? There are two. Now I have a 30 second timer to see if I can count how many fish are on the screen. If your children are in nursery or reception, then Math City 1 and Math City 2 will enable them to practice the math skills for early years. Let's have a look at some of the other games in here that older children can use. Let's have a look at dividers. Dividers has three levels of challenge. I'm going to start with level B. And the idea is you can move the calculator at the bottom using the arrows on your keyboard and you have to shoot the number that's on the calculator at a number that is a multiple of that number. So, oh, that was incorrect. So now I've got a three on my calculator and if I shoot it with the space bar, it will shoot the number that's a multiple. I now have a four on my calculator and none of those numbers are a multiple of four. So it shoots away from them. I've got a multiple of five now, 15 is a multiple of five, etc. Let's try and aim at the six. Now I can pause that using the P on my keyboard or the pause button at the top here. I want to change it to a slightly higher level using the teacher's head there. And let's go down to level seven. I can also speed it up if it's a little bit too slow and click OK. Oh, now we're talking. So I've got a multiple of two, oh, fours, there's 48. So as you can see, you can increase the complexity and the numbers get larger and larger as you move up through the levels. 
Let's have a look now at this fabulous game called Factoroids. Factoroids again has three levels of challenge. Let's have a look at challenge A. So I can use the arrows on my keyboard to move my calculator around. This time I have to actually type in the numbers and I'm going to divide that number into twos. And when a number, when you shoot a factor at a number, it divides it down. And if it's green, then it's a prime number and it can't kill me. Let's try challenge C. Now, as you can see, I've got slightly different numbers here. I'm going to shoot that with, oh, perfect. Shot it with a five. This time I'm going to shoot this with a nine. Oh, if I know my times tables. <gasps> Seven. Oh, oh, I should have shot it with a nine. Prime number. Come on, break them down. Oh, it's going to about to kill me. Ah, and I lost a life. Let's have a look at this game as well. Funky Platform. This is one of my favorites. Funky Platform teaches the concept of calculations and equations. I'm going to start with challenge A. Again, I'm going to pause it so I can have a look at the operations that I have. I've got two in my calculator and I want to move it across the platforms to get to one on the right hand side. Let's unpause it and move across the platforms and I'm going to wait at the central platform and I need to get to one. So I need to take away two. I'm going to wait for the minus two. There we go. Perfect. Now, if you get there in less than three steps, you get bonus points. Let's again try and increase the level on this. Right. Now, again, that's a little bit too fast for me. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. OK, now I have a seven. Let's multiply that by two. I want to get to ten on the right hand side. Let's take away four. And I'll add two and then wait here. And if I wait for the takeaway two, it will eventually get me across to the 10. The idea with this particular game is that the children have to think ahead using the simple operations that they're given. If they start with challenge C here, it has some slightly more complicated operations, including division and multiplication. If I change the levels on this one here, and go up to level eight, for example. This is the highest possible level. You can see I now have 64 on my calculator there and I want to get to 65. And these are the operations I need to use. The blue question mark here shows you what you need to do in terms of using the arrows on your keyboard. If it's on an iPad, then the arrows will appear at the bottom here on the screen. Let's have a look now at Sequence Snake, which is a very popular tool. I'm going to start again with Challenge A. And the idea is I've got a sequence at the top here, two, four, six, and I have to now use my arrows to move the snake so that he eats the next number in the sequence. Oop, going to try and find number eight. There we go. And next one is number 10. Let's try the slightly higher challenge C this time. 13, 26, 39. It seems to be adding in 13s. So the next one's going to be 52. Along with the maths games, in the games area of Purple Mash, you also have this mathematics topic area. There are lots of printable resources here that you can print out if you have a printer at home. Some of these games, such as the memory games and the times table dominoes, are games that you could print off and play with your children. You could print off the six times table memory game, cut them out and see if you could match the times tables with the answers in a memory game format. The dominoes are just as fun. You can again print these out and cut them out and match them up with your children. I'm now back on the mathematics topics page. And if I scroll down, I'm going to now look at some of these topics resources. There are topics here for number, geometry and shape, time, measure and statistics. Let's have a look at the number topic. I then have further resources here under number and place value, addition and subtraction, including number bonds, multiplication and division, fractions, probability, estimations, and my dice game. Let's go into number and place value. I now have a number of quizzes and activities grouped into the ages of children. So here are those for the ages five to seven, seven to nine, and underneath nine to 11. So this is year five and six. Let's have a look at this one, for example, negative and positive numbers. This is a quiz that the children can answer Take the integer which represents this scenario. 
adding two extra places at the dinner table. With any of the quizzes, you either have the option to play again or click OK and then come out of that and go and have a look at another one. You can also have a look at your answers there. Go back over them and just review what the answers were and which ones you got correct or incorrect. Your class teacher may have set some of these tasks for you specifically as a to-do. You can access those by clicking on the red tick and pressing the start button. I hope you enjoy using the maths games and the mathematics topics activities to keep up your math skills while you are learning from home.